Hello. Somebody's recently asked me how to create a uh, parody logo within CorelCAD. That's not actually what CorelCAD's for, but CorelCAD does excel there because you can create a new Corel Draw logo and import it into CorelCAD. So that's what we're going to do now. Uh, the requirement was to create something that looks a little bit like this example. Uh, this is from a university in uh, Sarajevo. So they want to put text around the outside and a bit of a logo on the inside. So how do we do that? Well, the first thing we do is we create a circle. We want to make this about 40 mil by 40 mil. Then we want to create another circle. Uh, we want to make this about uh, 28 28.28 mil by 28.28 mil. The reason for that is that that's uh, the reciprocal of the square root of 2. It creates a good size between the two. And then we just move the centers together to make them concentric. Then we want to add some text. We'll add some text to the inside first. And let's say small, medium, large, extra large, and extra, extra large. Good Roman numeral looking letters, uh, but they're not. And then we'll make it Times New Roman because we want it to look a bit fancier, especially since we want it to look like Roman numerals. Make that about 18 points. Now we want to adjust their position. So by selecting them, we can adjust it by clicking up here to get it roughly centered at the top. That's a pretty lazy way of doing it. And we can move it up and down with this one. So this moves it around, this one moves it up and down. We also want to make it bold. The other thing we can do is we can put some text going the other way. So we'll add that to the outer circle. And let's think of a good logo. A logo, say, uh, if anyone habitus universitatis vapid. University clothing doesn't fit. Forgive my Latin, I, I don't know it. Make this small, times New Roman. But it's on the outside, we don't want it on the outside, we want it to go around the inside. So we'll, uh, we'll mirror it up here. And then it's just a matter of moving it into the center where we want it, and quickly clicking it around to start it so that it looks like a bit of a logo. Finally, we want to put something building-like in the middle. Now, there's a few things we can do. Um, depending on how transformative it is, we could start with this one. We could edit the bitmap, and it takes us into Krell Photo Paint, where we can just select the Eraser tool. Where is the Eraser tool? And we can delete all of this uh, text because we've created that. Sometimes I think I'm rubbing out dirt on the screen rather than actual pixels. There we go. And then we'll just file save. And the saving sends it back to draw. Then we can click on it and go bitmap, uh, outline trace, we want to do uh, line art for example. And it brings up this menu where we can change settings so we can push the detail all the way up. It's a fairly square logo. So by making changes like that, converting it to line art and we want it to be uh, just two colors, black and white. And we end up with something that looks similar, so that when we transform it, or so when we move it, it does resemble the original. And then we can uh, just add this piece at the top. It looks like this wasn't enough to get in. Make that a bit thicker. So that's one way to create the central art. Um, 
I'll just take the bitmap away so now we're back to vectors. And if we take that, we can scale it by grabbing the corner. And fit it back in. Make it a bit bigger. And I'll just center it. Hang on. Easier to center like that by taking it out. And we're done. We have something somewhat similar to the original logo. Uh, although, depending on what we're actually doing, we may not want it to look like the original one. In which case, what we notice is that a lot of these symbols have buildings that are just collections of blocks. For example, um, lines of three, these three could be the same as the outside. And we could very quickly just start filling in squares over the top of this, for example. I'll just make that red so you can see it. And it wouldn't take very long to create a similar looking logo. I suppose I should make those all red. If I, if I make them all red to begin with, it's easier to spot. Yes. By this method, we can very quickly create something that does look like a building, uh, but a completely different building. And as always, uh, this takes a long time. So uh, as I do in the cooking classes, um, here's one I prepared earlier. And it's just the right size. So through this, you can create uh, an interesting looking uh, logo or seal uh, for whatever purpose you need. Uh, a bit of fun, putting on a t-shirt, uh, some parody, and uh, it doesn't look too bad. The final thing you might want to do is change some of these lines. Now, if we single click on it, you'll notice we go back to the text menu up here where we change the text. But if we double click it, we get the line menu, we can change the line thicknesses uh, so that we can get it something fairly regular and consistent across. And again, we didn't make that bold, so let's make him bold as well. And that completes it, we now have a complete logo. From here, our final step is to move it into CorelCAD. So we save, and we want to save it as something we can access. And then we can uh, import it through Corel Draw, Corel Designer Import. We want to go to Logo, Funny Logo, and now CorelCAD does the magic. This is what sets CorelCAD apart from uh, the original Graber software. Um, it does have this capability to pull in logos and details from Corel. Now for some reason it does seem to have messed parts of it up. I'll just need to look into why it's done that. But generally we have all the information here uh, and we can then go and change that within our CAD program so we can change line details, thicknesses, and so on. I'm not sure how we get that to view, but uh, in terms of getting the information, we can either use this as a basis and create different symbols over the top of it, put our own circles in or whatever, or we can prepare it in some other way. Um, and that's it. That's how you move uh, graphics to CorelCAD.